my house can be clean and spick and span and smell amazing, but my car has always been such a difficult place for me to keep clean. Oh, look at that, another baby doll. This alone was just beside my son's car seat. I've literally never detailed and cleaned and decluttered my vehicle like this ever. A newborn diaper. This is gonna be a doozy. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another episode of Messy to Minimal. This is the series that I've been doing on this channel since the new year where I have done extreme declutters in every room of this house and by the end my husband and I have been able to get rid of 75% of our stuff. We are so much more peaceful because we have been freed up by letting go of the junk that was weighing us down but there is still a spot in my life that is weighing me down and it's a spot that I actually spend a lot of time in. It's my mom van. And according to the poll that I just took on Instagram, a lot of you guys deal with the same sort of thing. I feel like vehicles can just be the Achilles heel of clutter. And my house is feeling great, like I said, and I really enjoy the decluttering that I have done so far throughout my life. But every time I step into this van, I get so stressed out from the mess. I know my husband does too, and I think it's time to do a messy to minimal episode in the van, even though I'm dreading it. I'm dreading this so much, but we're gonna head out to the driveway and get in there, clean up the mess, so you're gonna get not only decluttering and like more minimalism motivation in this video, but you're also gonna get some cleaning motivation because the van really needs it. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and if you're not subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell button so you don't miss my regular videos that go up every single Monday. And if you have missed the other videos in this messy to minimal series, I'll have that playlist linked in the description box so you can get caught up. And if you have been here from the beginning, then drop this emoji in the comments so I can say hi to those of you who have been on this minimalism journey along with me. Got this hair tie on my wrist here. I'm going to throw my hair back up in a ponytail so that I can get to work. I'm going to show you what the before of the van looks like. I'm going to give you a little tour of how awful it is out there and then we're going to get to work. So of course I have to be filming during the time of the day when all of my neighbors are outside mowing their lawns and edging and weed eating. You're gonna hear that in the background. It just is how it is, but look at this van. It is so, so bad. Okay, I will say some of this mess was made in literally just the last two days. It doesn't stay like, you know, Chick-fil-A box there for more than a day or so. I usually grab it like the next day I'm out here, but oh my goodness. So much stuff in here that we just don't need to be out here. I left this cardigan out here when it was getting too warm to wear it. I have a bag of stuff that I need to return to Target. There's all sorts of stuff for my kids, baby dolls, shoes, another Elsa doll. I have loose DVDs and so much junk just back here in this pocket. Haley's car seat is right here. And then the boys have their booster seats here in the back. I have a random shelf there that I bought at Michael's that actually needs to be returned. And now let's take a look at the trunk. <laughs> we keep bottles of water here for emergencies. We have some emergency kits, some like uh, automotive stuff. There's bags of random things back here. Oh, look at that, another baby doll. So the trunk or the boot, if you're from Britain, definitely needs to get taken care of. And then coming around the other side, here's just another perspective on what's in the cabin of the van. It's just so bad. Oh, look at that. Another receipt, super supplements, Parmesan crisps. Here I have a bunch of stuff in the door that needs to get decluttered. I have an order that I picked up out of the mailbox, Target order that came in. This is an Ulta bag that has Forever 21 returns in it. So I have a lot of returns in this van that definitely need a home so that I can just grab them really quick when I am able 
to make the returns. But I just brought this laundry basket out here because this is something that's actually gonna live here in the back of the van. But right now I'm gonna use it to put all of the stuff that needs to go inside the house into. I also have a trash bag here that I started a couple of days ago. So trash is gonna go in there. Basically just gonna split up everything that I find between these two things, trash and uh, non-trash. And then we'll go through everything. And then I'm going to be detailing. Like we've got scratches and dust and grime and fingerprints on like our LCD screen. So this van really needs some help and we are going to get to work. I've decided I need a third bin, which is stuff that I wanna get out of my way temporarily, but stuff that's going back into this van. Grab this little basket that I have in the garage and I'm gonna be throwing that category of stuff in here. Crumbs are just insane. Can you tell who the main mess maker in this van is? alone was just beside my son's car seat. Oh. A newborn diaper. taken everything out of the door pockets, the cabin of the van, all around the floor, underneath the seats. The spots that I have left to clean out are this middle console right here, which has this drawer full of random stuff. I have everything from makeup to expired health insurance cards, like the doubles that I have that I don't keep in my purse. So that needs to be gone through. And then there's an even bigger compartment underneath here with all sorts of things. Look at what is in here, you guys. This is one of those Hakka style breast pumps. This is the one that I keep in the van. It even has breast milk bags. And I haven't breastfed for over a year. So this doesn't belong in here anymore. We recently went to the beach, so I have sand everywhere in this van. So I'm gonna go through this middle console, go through everything in here, and then I'm gonna go through what is inside the glove compartment and this compartment. We do have up-to-date ones in our van, but look at this insurance card I found. It expired in 2017. Okay, now it's time to do the trunk. I have a little helper. Hi, hun. Hi. This is gonna be a doozy. So there's stuff in here that's months that and months old. There's nice. many, many layers to what is here under the stuff in the trunk. So I'm gonna just start at the top and work my way down. reached the final layer. <laughs> and 
and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Okay. Okay, so everything is cleaned out of the van and now the van is just surrounded by the clutter, the baskets, the stuff that I brought out, my whole three basket system. It just wasn't enough to hold every single thing. So now I have a three pile system, but it's kind of like three piles on every side of the van. So I have to go through all of these piles and uh, find what's recyclable, find what I'm getting rid of find what I'm taking back into the house and have to find spots in there for, and then find the few things that are actually going back into the van. Um, but then after that, I need to detail it. So vacuum it, shampoo little areas, wipe it all down, clean it all up, do like the really satisfying part. Okay, so this is where we're at. I took two full trash bags to our garbage can. We have a very overflowing laundry basket of stuff to go inside the house. And then we have this small bin of stuff that's possibly going back into the van. And then I have some return bags here. I have to vacuum in here, but before I do, I am going to scrub the floor mats. I shook them off to get the majority of the dried up french fries and fishy crackers off of it. And now I'm gonna hose them down, get some dish soap on them with a scrub brush and really detail them. And those will sit in the sun and dry while I vacuum the van. So hopefully they'll be done and ready to go back in when the van is all done being vacuumed. use Mrs. Meyers dish soap. It's biodegradable so it won't hurt my grass um, and it just works really well to get all of the grime and stuff off of my car mats. Also side note the peony scent from Mrs. Meyers smells exactly like the Riviera Resort in Disney World. Weston and I stayed there in February and I would much rather be there right now than scrubbing car mats but I'll be glad when this is done. Haley is scrubbing the walkway here, and I have the mats drying in the sun. These will be dry in just minutes. And now I'm gonna find Weston's shop vac for the garage, because it does the best job in here. And I'm going to take care of the crazy vacuuming job that has to be done in here. It is so bad. <laughs> Well, hello, it's the next day because I got interrupted with doing this whole van project. Hashtag mom life. Dinner had to be made and then it turned into bedtime and then it was too dark to film. So I am resuming the project today. Where I left off was I had shampooed the mats and I had vacuumed the van, but I need to wipe everything down, scrub like gross stains and spots and stuff off of the surfaces and I'm gonna attempt to spot clean the carpet. Even though the rubber mats do cover most of the carpet, the in-between areas have a lot of stains that are just kind of gross looking. A lot of these stains are actually 
permanent. They were here when we bought this van. It's a used van and we don't go into a ton of debt over vehicles in this household. So we drive older vehicles, used vehicles until we can, you know, save up for something a little bit nicer. And not being the first and only owners of this vehicle means some of these stains in here are just not from us, which is kind of gross, but I'm hoping to remedy at least some of the stains by getting my carpet cleaner out, which I use in my house on my carpet in there, as well as the little upholstery tool attachment on my uh, furniture. And so I think I'm gonna use that little upholstery tool here on the carpet in the van. Hello! <laughs> Haley's playing back there in the trunk while I work on this van. Uh, but I just wanted to remind you guys, if you are enjoying this video, if you're getting any sort of motivation from it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out a lot. And with that said, I'm gonna get back to work and get... that took over an hour to do this van and as I was going I just found more and more stains but it's looking so much better there are definitely still stains in here that I don't think can ever get fully cleaned unless you had like a professional tool or some crazy cleaner or something but I did manage to clean it up pretty good it looks so much better in here it's a pretty warm day uh, at least for the Seattle area it's about 75 degrees right now so I'm just keeping the windows and the doors open to get the sunlight and the air in to dry up the carpets before I put those rubber mats back down and now I'm gonna go around and wipe the leather in here wipe all of the vinyl scrub any stickiness or stains off of it the inside of the doors the inside of the windows LCD screen I know I'm gonna get comments about it uh, like why aren't you taking your kids car seats out of the car? Um, I did move the boys seats to vacuum there because those are just boosters But Haley's seat was recently installed at our local fire station by a CPST And even though there are probably stains and stuff underneath that I could scrub up I am not gonna undo this job that was just done. I've been trying to vacuum around it and clean off anything that I can right now, but it's not as detailed as it could be because it was professionally installed and I'm gonna keep it that way. So on to all the wiping and the scrubbing. I hope you're enjoying some cleaning motivation in this video as well as the decluttering motivation. So Weston is home today. Hi, hun. Hi. <laughs> and he was in here with me. He's like, wow, this looks better than when we bought the van. And he remembered that he has this gooey, like uh, putty stuff slime for cleaning off all the dust and crumbs and stuff. <laughs> gross but man it looks like it's working it works really well it gets all the dust particles out nice See, there's nothing up there. how weird is that nice i think i'll do that as a last step too cool i'll link this product in the were you were you doing a product shot for me yeah. thank you <laughs> what we're using to wipe down the inside of the van. It's doing a really good job. I'm normally not a wipes person because it's pretty wasteful to um, wait, wait. use like cleaning wipes. I ordered the spray version of this, but the grocery store substituted this and I didn't even realize it until I got home. So I paid for it, I'm gonna use it, but I definitely prefer to use like a microfiber cloth and um, spray. This is working just fine.
my gosh, the amount of fingerprints. It's ridiculous. Seriously. They don't even sit by this window and there's so many fingerprints on it. Oh, it's hot in here. Well, the job is finally done, and I've been sitting here in the back seat of my van just enjoying the sunshine and the bird sounds and the cool breeze that's blowing through, and also my van smells really good. I'll show you why in a second. It's also because I shampooed the carpets. But I think I'm gonna start here in the back and show you what I've got in the trunk and then move through to the front. I'll give you the little after tour. Okay, so here in the trunk we have just a few things, and these are our essentials. So this laundry basket is for when I either pick up things or have stuff to return. Right now, that's what is in here. And then underneath that, I just have this outdoor blanket that we spread out if we are on a picnic unexpectedly or it's like an emergency blanket if we need it. And then I have sort of our emergency kit back here. This roadside emergency kit with jumper cables. There's also a first aid kit in here, as well as this DeWalt. This is like a tire pressure blower upper thing. You actually plug it into the cigarette lighter in your car. I have some ratchet straps here for if we need those to strap something to the top of our van. And all of this is now contained in one of these bins. I will say I didn't buy anything new for this van. Nothing that is being stored in here is actually a new purchase. I just pulled from what I already had. I don't have the fanciest stuff in here, but honestly, I don't really care that much. I'm not one of those, my car is my baby sort of moms. I mean, maybe if I had a nicer vehicle, I'd feel that way. But at this point, if it works, that's what I'm using. The other things that you guys saw me put in here is the stroller that we're still going to keep back here. We rarely use it, but we are always so glad that we have it when we do need it. Behind the stroller, I just have our cooler bag, which we put like frozen or cold groceries into if we do a grocery run. Got a lot of open space down here for other groceries or things that we pick up, but the idea is that I'm going to keep this space open unless it's like I've put groceries in there temporarily. And then on the back of this headrest for the middle seat here in the back row, I attached this uh, backpack. We actually got this as merch from Go Go Squeeze on our Disney trip. They were one of the sponsors. Not a sponsor today, but I thought I'd show you kind of my just in case bag. This has a smaller little first aid kit. The one in the roadside emergency kit has more stuff in it. This is just like quick first aid, alcohol swab, and your basic um, antibacterial ointment and uh, band-aids. And then deeper on in here, I have a change of clothes for each kid, as well as some extra pull-ups and underwear for Haley. And that zips up, and in this front pouch, I have snacks, which the irony of this situation is that this is a go-go squeeze bag, but I have... <laughs> Our leftover Kirkland applesauce squeeze pouches. Sorry, go, go, squeeze. You're our favorite, though. Also have some trail mix and some granola bars. So that just stays in here if we're caught out longer than we expected and the kids need a snack. Or let's be honest, if I need a snack. For right now, this is what the trunk looks like and... I'm liking it so much better. We have the boys' car seats here, and everything's all cleaned up and scrubbed. Like I was saying, there are still stains in the carpet that I just cannot get out, but they are definitely faded. They look so much better. It smells better in here. I got our rubber mats put back on the floor, and I think I put these in wrong. I'm gonna have to kind of Tetris these out and figure out how they're arranged, because I have a feeling this is wrong. I am not a puzzles person, let's just put it that way. I'm gonna have the kids store their little masks for those rare occasions that we are out in public. Um, here on the little hooks, I forgot that these were here by um, each seat. So there's one for that kiddo. 
We've got one up there, one above Haley's car seat here. Then in this pocket, um, remember we had all those random DVDs and just junk and a newborn diaper. Right now, the only things we have in here is a pack of baby wipes, which we also have one in that backpack in the back. We have a can of hairspray and a hairbrush because uh, there are so many school mornings where I have forgotten to brush up the boy's hair <laughs> and a little bit of hairspray and a little hairbrush goes a long way. And I know I'm gonna get questions about it, so I'm going to just address it now. This is the other captain's chair beside the one that Haley has her car seat in, and we actually keep it folded forward and locked down because it's way easier for the kids to get in and out of the van if they just have it like that. But it's super easy to unlock and then unfold and clip back into the ground if we have a sixth person with us. Okay, so moving on to the front of the van, I'll show you what's in here. And it's so nice to have Weston help me just kind of scrub everything up. It's not perfect. And I know people who are like super into the detailing of their cars are gonna see things <laughs> that they wouldn't have it be that way. Again, it's not that big of a deal to me, but it is nice to have it clean. So this little compartment in here is just like my most necessary stuff. So I have my Bluetooth headset uh, charger little case. I also have some hand sanitizer in here. Always got to keep that on hand. I had a lot more of these in here that I decluttered out, but I'm choosing to hold on to three little uh, vials of essential oil. I have this little car essential oil warmer, kind of little diffuser thing that has this pad in it that you drop um, oils onto and it warms up when the car is on and makes the car smell lovely. And right now I have this blend going. It's called Dreamer from my favorite essential oil brand, Revive. Um, but I also keep Holiday Heaven, which is the same smell as Christmas Spirit from Young Living and I keep sweet orange in here. And this compartment, it doesn't matter how well you organize it, it all just kind of tips and shakes around when you open this part up. In this compartment, we have just a couple of things. So I have some extra DVDs for the kids. They mostly like to watch Seeds Family Worship DVDs. Um, and then I have some Paw Patrol DVDs in there. I have the remote control for the DVD player, as well as an extra battery for the remote. I have a few emergency Tootsie Pops in here for if my children need to be bribed. And no, I am not above bribery with my children. I have a couple of these little sauce holders, which are so nifty. I actually saw one of my friends on Instagram share this. You just put it in your vent like this and you stick a little container of sauce in it to dip as you're on the road. It's such a cool invention. I'll link these below for you guys. And last but not least, I have a thing of deodorant because it's always good to have one on hand. There's nothing in here. I just have a few little coins in this. There's nothing in this compartment down there. It's completely empty. Also completely empty is this pocket by the door. Um, this pocket by the door has one plastic fork in it in case I need it while I'm on the road. This little compartment um, didn't get decluttered because there's only one thing in there and I'll always keep only one thing and that is my pepper spray. I think the only thing left to do for this van is to take it through the car wash. I've literally never detailed and cleaned and decluttered my vehicle like this ever. It is looking so good in here. It feels so much more peaceful in here. Like I can't wait to go drive somewhere. I feel like I'm 16 again and just got my license. Like I'm looking for an excuse to go drive somewhere right now. I'm notorious for having a messy vehicle. Since I was 16 and had my own vehicle, it has always been such a heap. Like my room, my house can be clean and spick and span and smell amazing, but my car has always been such a difficult place for me to keep clean. And I think this time putting this much work into making it clean and detailed and beautiful is actually a really good motivation to continue to do so. Let me know your best tips for keeping your car clean. And also let me know what kind of person you are when it comes to keeping your cars clean. Are you like me, notorious for having a messy car? Or are you someone who it really matters to keep your car clean and you're really good at it and on top of it regularly? 
Do you fall somewhere in between? Let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you got some good motivation from it. Thanks so much for coming along with me while I did an extreme declutter of this car. I got rid of probably like 98% of the stuff in here. There's hardly anything in here at all. I know that will change as the school year goes on, but I'm hoping to implement some regular like weekly cleaning that we do in this car. That doesn't just involve me, but the kids as well because most of the stuff in here was theirs. And I wanna teach them some responsibility about taking the stuff back out and finding a place for it and really taking care of our stuff. Our vehicle is an extension of our home. And so if I'm teaching them those good habits inside our home, I also need to teach them the habit here in the vehicle. Thank you all for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel. Before you go, I'd love it so much if you would check out the other videos that I've done in this Messy to Minimal series. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn that bell button on so you don't miss future videos from me. I do have more videos in this series coming up and in my other videos that aren't in my Messy to Minimal series, I always try to include a little bit of decluttering motivation at least. So if it's a day in the life video or if it's a favorites video, you get some inspiration for decluttering and like a minimalism journey. So don't sleep on the other videos that I upload. I would love to see you back here for more. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you later.